by the way, law and crime, get your fucking life in order. You want to fucking you want to uh, record shit that's technically public domain or steal body cam footage shit. And then like you try to DMCA people like Nick Ricada. Remember that during Rittenhouse, you fucking faggots. We know you don't own these fucking proceedings. That's why all the true crime channels. That's why you can have dildos up the ass, fucking in the ass, fucking sucking, cutting heads off. And YouTube gives you a check mark and leaves you alone because you're paying some publicity company. If I had to guess probably involved with a bunch of publicity companies and you got the management and the MCN. You're probably part of a multi-channel network thing. And you probably got that deal with that back channel where they can pressure YouTube and they go, no crime circus drip drop. Yeah. That guy, fuck him. Mike from sword and scale. He can suck our dick. We'll take his shit down for talking about cutting heads and raping and fucking and sucking and murdering. But Law and Crime Network, well, their logo looks good. It looks like they paid the extra package fee on Fiverr, and they're paying off the right people and giving the right people a cut, in my opinion. I'm just saying the shit should stop because competition would breed people going, oh, I'll, I'll fucking take this recording and I'll make it sound good. You know, kind of like you faggots can't ever be bothered to do. You put the Taylor shit business, uh, you, you you put their um the fucking whatever. What is it? The the interrogation video up, and it's another. At what point did it?